From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm David Byrd reporting thousands rally in support of refugees across Europe on Saturday. Tens of thousands of people filled central London to protest the British government's position on the escalating refugee crisis. Human rights activists, politicians and performers marched to Parliament Square in solidarity with the refugees who are trying to escape armed conflicts, especially in the Middle East. Milica Pesic was a refugee herself 20 years ago. So I came to Britain during the wars in the Balkans, Bosnia, Kosovo, Croatia, and I could feel what's happening to the people now, this, this year. A crowd of about 30,000 people rallied in Copenhagen, Denmark, Saturday in favor of taking in thousands of refugees. In Stockholm, Sweden, around 1,000 people gathered in a show of support. But about 5,000 people joined a protest against migrants in the capital of Poland on Saturday. The Polish government has opposed fixed refugee quotas proposed by the European Union. Egypt's Prime Minister Ibrahim Mahlab and his cabinet resigned Saturday in the face of intense media criticism and a widening corruption investigation that saw the agriculture minister arrested on corruption charges just days ago. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi asked outgoing petroleum minister Sharif Ismail to head a new government within a week after accepting Malab's resignation. Key portfolio holders, including the defense, interior, and foreign ministers, are expected to remain in the new government. This is VOA News. Saudi officials have pledged that this year's Hajj pilgrimage will go ahead despite a deadly crane collapse that killed 107 people and injured more than 230 at the Grand Mosque in Mecca Friday. The huge crane crashed through a ceiling of the mosque as worshippers had gathered for Friday prayers just days ahead of the annual pilgrimage to one of Islam's holiest sites. The head of the Saudi Civil Defense Authority, Suleiman al-Amr, said that high winds during a storm had caused the disaster. Prince Khalid al-Faisal, the governor of the Mecca region, has ordered an investigation into the incident. Two Russian military cargo planes carrying 80 tons of humanitarian aid have arrived in Syria, to set up a tent camp for more than 1,000 refugees, even as the main Syrian opposition group blasted Moscow for its military presence in the country. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Major General Igor Konashinkov said Saturday that the humanitarian aid included materials for setting up camp. U.S. President Barack Obama has expressed concern about Russia's increased military activity in Syria. U.S. General Philip Breedlove is NATO's supreme allied commander for Europe. It remains to be seen what this will be in the end. We do watch it with concern, and what we are most concerned about is any operations that would continue to support the Assad regime. Moscow says that it has been sending military equipment to help the Syrian government fight the hardline Islamic State group and has also sent experts to train the Syrian army to use it. President Barack Obama used his weekly address to announce his new college scorecard aimed at offering insights into the costs and benefits of getting a college degree. The program allows prospective students to find out how much each school's graduates earn and how much debt they will graduate with. The president said it will help students know which schools do the best job of preparing them for their future. The goal is to help everybody who's willing to work for a higher education 
search for and select a college that fits their goals. Together we can make sure that every student has the chance to get a great education and achieve their full potential. The new system will also present the average earnings of graduates at individual schools using internal revenue service data. Critics have called the system a data dump that leaves students with more questions than answers. And at the U.S. Open tennis tournament, Flavia Panetta of Italy beat countrywoman Roberta Vinci to take the women's title and then announced her retirement from professional tennis. For more, log on to our website. I'm David Byrd in Washington. That's the latest world news from BOA.